A new WA study has found mobile phones can be as bad for teenagers as obesity and smoking. Researchers found most teens are texting and emailing at night and it's causing serious mental health problems. The vast majority of our teenagers have one and the experts say the mobile phone is silently destroying their mental health. It's as unhealthy as um, smoking, drinking, obesity for adolescents. A world first Australian study finding teens who use their mobiles after lights out are struggling to sleep and it's causing long term damage. We looked at self esteem and that was um, declining. Levels of depressed mood was going up. Um, ability to cope the next day at school was going um, down. The survey followed 1,100 teenagers from 29 schools in WA and Queensland. They were tracked for four years from year 8 to year 11. Some of the survey answers disturbing. Did you stay up till 3am? Kids are answering yes, they did. Kids are sleeping in class, falling asleep in class. And the problem is huge. 85% of year 8 students own a mobile phone and two-thirds of them text or call after lights out. That gets worse as they get older. By year 11, 93% own a phone and almost all of them use them at night. All right, bud, time's up. Come on. Perth mum Louise Taylor has a strict mobile phone policy for her 13-year-old. No phones in the bedroom, definitely. Um, they can't even charge them in the bedroom. And it's no phones after dinner unless it's school related. We find that they are a lot more restless. They're thinking about that last message. Um, and the fact that that is interfering with them is one of the main reasons that we decided no phones at night time. 13 year old Isaac doesn't always agree. Yeah, I just want to keep testing. I feel a bit angry when they take it off me sometimes. But mum says he knows the health benefits are evident. Their sleep's really good, they get up fresh, they're not dragging around, they're happy when they get up. When it comes to gender, it's teenage girls that are being affected the most. They're using their phones more late at night and they're feeling the sleep and mental health impacts more than their male peers. Experts say girls are also more likely to engage in distressing phone conversations and bullying on social media. If you've got enough likes, if you've been returned in a text message, those are the sorts of investments that kids have which can emotionally arouse you and that doesn't help a good night's sleep. The advice, enforce the rules at a young age, negotiate a phone curfew and get all technology out of the bedroom. Get a separate alarm clock, they don't see the screen there, they don't see all the text messages, they don't go to bed and hear a couple of text messages. Jerry DeMassi, Nine News.